Hello guys, my name is Centurion HD and welcome back to Dying Light. Um, for this video, I'm just going to be talking about some stuff going on in the uh, gaming community, like like issues and all that, and my personal opinion on it all. Um, so, uh, first of all, I'm going to start talk to talk about um the new obsidian skin that um infinity ward bought out for modern warfare um the obsidian skin camo i should say um it, it's pitch black with um a crystally shine to it um so Yeah, um, it's, it's a pitch black camo with a crystal you shine to it. It doesn't sound too special, but w when you see it in game, it looks crisp. Especially on PC. The PC graphics make it look that much crispier. Um, but, and f the way that you get this weapon is you have to get a certain amount of kills per game a certain amount of times. Um, so I've got an MP5 in the game that already has the gold camo on it because when I first started playing, um, before season one even got conceived, um, I was really, really into the MP5. It was the main gun that got me to the high ranks and it's the main gun that helped me play as well as I usually do. Um... Now I'm I'm a natural I am a natural when it comes to Call of Duty games or like some shooter games in general. Not all shooter games, mind you. But I've been playing Call of Duty all my life since I was a kid. Call of Duty one all the way to Modern Warfare. Every single Call of Duty that I can remember. So I've always been a natural at like aiming my aim was the worst when it was Call of Duty 1 and it improved as I kept playing, you know? So, um, it's not just aim that helps you be um, better than most people, it's your reaction time and your overall situational awareness. Situational awareness, which most of you know, is, is pretty much um where you're fully aware of your surroundings you, you're listening out for footsteps to know where the enemies are and you're not just running around like a blind goose just admiring the scenery reaction speed is having the ability to first of all notice your enemy first before they notice that you're an enemy and also to pinpoint where they are and be accurate enough to shoot them before they even realize that you're there. That's really good reaction speed, and I've got that. In most of my games, mainly being hardcore, because I don't like playing core, because I, I can shoot like, what, seven or eight bullets into the dude first, and then he has a stronger gun than me, and he, he what, like, kills me in four shots? Like, like... I, I can hit him with five shots before he even notices I'm there. And, like, he'll start spraying, missing his shots, and then... Anyway, um, as I was saying, um, I've got pretty good reaction speed, situational awareness, and overall aim. Yes, I use aim assist, but I use the, uh, the aim assist that, that you only use if you're an accurate player. Precision aim assist, I think. And what's good about this type of aim assist is that it only slows down when you, when you like, uh, look really, really close to the target. So, yeah, um, once more, I do not play the core game modes. I've already tried and I just cannot handle it. When I shoot a guy first with like seven or eight bullets, and then, like, after I shoot him with, like, five bullets, 
he notices that I'm actually shooting him, sprays halfway between either, like, spotting me and shooting me, which is, like, five or six bullets, and then he finally shoots me with, like, four or five bullets, and then I'm dead. So, I'm just... I'm just not up at that. When I play hardcore, it normally takes me one or two shots to kill someone, same with me. And, like, when I shoot first, I get the kill all the time. So, anyway, um, with my MP5, uh, for this Obsidian challenge, I need to get 15 kills in a match 150 times. Now, getting 15 kills in a match is easy, depending on if, like, I'm playing decently or really good. When I when I play really good, I I get like twenty five or thirty kills. Sometimes a little bit more than thirty kills. When I'm playing average, I normally get twenty kills at most. When I'm playing bad badly, I normally get what fifteen kills at most. So. This challenge should be fairly easy for me. Like, I just gotta keep playing hardcore. But, um, I don't know, I don't know if, like, this is a real thing. But, um, I went into a private match with some bots just to, like, practice a little bit. Um, and,. I got my MP5 out, I went onto my gold camo, and I just took a quick look at the obsidian camo just to remind myself that I had to eventually get out of the private match and continue playing regular multiplayer. Um, so I finished off with my private match, I went back into regular multiplayer, and at the time, before I even went into the private match, I had what, like, 15 out of 150 times? before I went in, into the private match, and when I looked again, it was reset to zero, and it, it just, it, it was like a punch to the gut. So I'm wondering, do I really have to, like, fully restart from zero, or are my 15, is, is my progress bar still on 15 out of 150? I'm just wondering. So, yeah, that, that's, all for uh, Modern Warfare, now let's get on to Fortnite, this whole situation about aim assist supposedly being aimbot and, you know, all that. So, Crane. yes, I play on console, Dude? yes, yeah, I copy. this Something wrong? aim assist no, no, situation has nothing Listen, to do with um, console aim assist. Um, but, I also play on PC, I don't, I play on console more than PC, but I do play on PC. Now, I would say that it's way, way easier to aim on PC, since, first of all, um, you get your entire arm, your fingertips all the way up to your shoulder to aim. And with a regular but, control, Dave, all you get is your thumb we'll talk when I get back with the answers, um, okay? all the way up okay. to the joint where it's connected just, to your entire hand. That's piece, all you all right? get to aim with. Now, when I first started playing Call of Duty 1, it was on PC. Come here. Um, I've got a special deal for you. Uh, all the way up to uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I played all that on PC. My very first shooter game was Unreal Tournament 2003. Streamers that mainly use keyboard and mouse on Fortnite are saying that the aim assist is pretty much aimbot. Um, now, I kind of disagree with them on this. I've watched, um, I've watched controller streamers of Fortnite, mainly being Nick Merckx and. Yeah, just mainly being him, I've watched one or two streams off of uh, Ghost Aiden, I don't even know if Ghost Aiden is still in the Ghost Org, but whatever. I've watched them, and yes they have aim assist, but yes they also have good aim. Now, I was watching uh, one of Booger's streams, and he was in a scrim, and he got uh, quad dinked by supposedly a control player. So, or at least that's what he said. He said it was controllable. Now, 
let me just tell you, you can very, very easily quad dink or like, anyway, you can easily hit five headshots in a row on someone while using a mouse and keyboard. I hit five headshots all the time. In fact, most of my kills on PC are from headshots because news flash headshots do the most damage and if you aim for the head you also conveniently use less bullets in your gun so um i don't know what gun this player was using but it did 62 damage per shot and of, of course it did 62 damage per shot because he was hitting critical hits because in fortnite they call critical shots a dink. Now, anyway, um, I hit headshots all the time. Both, or oh, actually, I don't really hit headshots on uh, console. But anyway, um, so yeah, they they nerfed uh, aim assist on controller because the streamers who had really really good high tech PCs that did like over 240 FPS like just normally uh, somehow makes aim assist stronger it apparently it makes it like aimbot but I, I disagree some of these streamers actually have good aim okay now people are saying that aim assist aims for you but that those people have never played with aim assist before in their life. Never ever. Aim assist does not aim for you. It is n not designed that way. Aim assist is purely designed to help you aim. It is designed to slow down your aim when you aim close to a target or when you narrowly miss a target. Because, again, all you've got on your body to aim with is your thumb. And PC players, or, or mouse and keyboard players, have their entire bloody arm. Now I'm talking fingertips all the way to the shoulder. So we need aim assist. We need it. I mean, some of us probably don't need it. Our aim is that godly, but whatever. We need aim assist. Because if we don't have aim assist, our aim will be all over the place. Now, as I said, it is way easier to aim on keyboard and mouse. Now... I, I've played Rainbow Six Siege as one of my main shooters. I used to be really good at it at launch, but then my my skill level slowly decreased over time. And it, it, it's also because the, the other people just kept on getting better at it. So anyway, on Rainbow Six Siege, you have aim assist, but I don't know if this is true or not. Aim assist only counts for terror stunts, campaign missions, I'll just call them, and terror stunts. Aim assist does not work in multiplayer, and I, I can tell you right now, it is so much easier to control recoil on PC, or on mouse and keyboard I should say, because, um, I was over at a mate's house and I specifically remember how I had to burst fire my gun when I was playing with Ash, I had to burst fire that thing because the recoil, it was so hard for me to control the recoil. Now when I, when I played on my friend's PC, I played as Ash. Now, it, it took me maybe like a second to realize how much the recoil was because I haven't played Rainbow Six in ages. It took me a second to fully be able to control it. A second, people. A second. Now, of course, there's like the first initial shot where you can't control it, but then there's like the continuous firing. Now, I admit, that um that it was a little bit like on the uneven side for me to fully be able to uh, control the recoil spread um but it was way it was way easier to control it than i uh, jumped over you sorry okay um it was way easier to control it on pc so on fortnite uh, yes, you can probably dink someone five, four or five times with a controller, but you can also do that, and you should be able to easily do that on a mouse and keyboard. If you can't, if you can't hit all headshots, like in close proximity, um, 
all of a sudden while controlling the recoil and having actual good aim on PC, then stop complaining. You're, you're, you're just garbage. You gotta improve your aim. Now again, Fortnite is not all about building and editing. All you do is crank and, and edit like Mongrel. Good for you. But if, if you can't hit your shots, what's the point of even practicing your builds and edits? Yes, you can scare a player because most players are scared of a dude who can edit and crank like one growl because they think that, oh, he, he's got good builds and edits better than mine, so he's probably got better aim as well. But most of, most of the people that I faced on creative and in pubs that can crank like one growl and edit like one growl, they miss all their shots on me. All I have to do is move side to side and jump up and down. Now, yes, it's on console, so they're likely to miss shots, but guess what, I was also playing Fortnite on PC. Now, I am garbage with my builds and edits on PC. I am garbage because you've got to press a lot more buttons, you've got to do keybinds, and it's, and it's not that easy to get used to. Anyway, um... I was playing on PC in Team Rumble. There was this John Wick fella cranked and edited on me like one growl. All I had to do was just wait for that edit. It was very predictable. All I did was wait. Instantly hit him in the head, one pump. Easy. That's how easy it is to aim on PC. If people cannot hit headshots easily on PC, regardless of the recoil in close proximity, they are not they are not good at all. They are not the best players. So, um, aim assist is not OP at all, aim assist is not OP, and, um, controller aim assist is specifically designed just to help you aim, okay, it, it's specifically designed to help you, it's not, the, it's not meant to aim for you like aimbot, it's not aimbot at all. If you want to see aimbot, I can show you aimbot. Now, this aimbot hack, it locks onto you. Like, you could be jumping up in the air. This could be you. Right? Look, look where my little cursor is. Okay? Look exactly where it is. Present that that little dot, that little white dot is a player. This player could be doing this, what I'm about to do. He could be doing this. Aimbot will lock onto him through all of that. Okay? Aimbot will lock onto him through all of that. But, aim assist, aim assist will stop stop slowing down once they start doing that and you'll be like you'll be doing this trying to like hit your shot on them aimbot will literally lock onto them all the time that's aimbot aim assist is not aimbot if you think aim assist is aimbot you've got something wrong with you mate and you gotta stop complaining about it. anyway i uh, thank you guys for tuning into my let's talk video i'll try to make more of these if if there are um issues in the gaming community to talk about or, or like updates or like news and stuff um if you guys want more of it more of this type of video just let me know in the comment section down below um and smack the like button so that i actually know that you enjoy it um subscribe if you're new um and i'll see all, all of you in the next video see ya